Day two is here. I need to forget the fire for now and focus on bringing home some good cars. If this is a V8, I want to buy this. That's a V8. I want to buy this car for between, I think, seven murders. In. I want to be under that. So I get the biggest voice in the room to help me seal the deal. I'm Henry Philip G. III, and I'm a ringman with the GA Classics. My dad's name is Phil, and I'm also Philip, but I'm known as Refill at all the auctions. I work the floor, at a, I help catch bids. I'm a bid assistant for the auctioneer. We uh, assist the auctioneers with the bids and handling the crowd. I love working doing this. There's no other place they can pay to yell and have a great time. I assisted Ted today with a Ford Mustang. When he walked up, he told me that this car will be going home with me. And when Ted says it, you believe it, you put him in and you follow it. And by God, he put it on the trailer. I want to I wanna buy this car. I don't want to get stupid with it. We'll make it happen, bro. Ted seems to trust me. We'll work well together. Ted, you know, he knows how to work the cars. He, Ted is very astute on what he's buying, so there's no question. With Ted wants something or Ted don't want something, he's got an answer for you. Thank you, brother. Thank good you. job. Here's number 28. Thank you. Number 28 is going to be under seven. The top to it's the a bottom real good buy. The... Refill was the ring man that I went to when I'm bidding. And, you know, his job is to get it sold and get me to pay as much as I can. And, you know, I didn't want to pay too much. And they know me. They, they've been around me a long time. You know, it's how to work, man, on, you know, and how to get it done. And working with Phil and working with Refill, they're just fine people. You know, they're nice people. They do a Tremendous job. Both of them have been world champion ringmen. That's huge. I mean, there's a whole lot of ringmen in this country, world champs. And, you know, you see how hard they work. I'm sure they sleep well at night. And, you know, it's great guys. The, the whole group, I mean, up here, it's just such a pleasure. Number five is a 1928 Ford Model A truck, fresh coat of paint, original inline four cylinder engine, four speed manual flatbed. I like this truck. Runs great. I was here to sell my grandfather's old truck. Uh, just got tired of seeing it sit outside and go downhill, so decided to get rid of it while I could. 55. Help! You're out. 57. Hey! 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 Yes, yeah. number six. It's a 1965 Jeep CJ. Thank you, Ted. Yes, yeah. good job. Thank you. I'm happy about that. I just bought a 1928 Model A Ford truck, a double A, which means it has the heavier chassis. It's just, you know, it was in the guy's family for decades. I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited. I bought it right. That is a money maker. That's why I'm here. I'm very pleased with the deal I got today. It, it brought more than what I was expecting. I had a reserve of 6,000 on it, and I'd been very happy with 55, and I ended up with $6,800, and I'm very pleased with it. The gentleman on that Ford AA said he would have taken less money, which is nice, but I'd have paid 10 or 12 for it. I think I wound up paying six or seven. So, you know, it, everybody has their market. That car by me will do 20 grand. So I'm a happy guy. Great car. I'm happy with it. I'm going to take it and give it a good home. It's going to Miami. It'll probably wind up in the uh, Persian Gulf. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ted told me where it was probably going to end up at, and it's going to a good home, and that's that's the main thing. I, like I said before, I just I hate to see it just to go downhill and not be worth anything. Somebody can use it. I just bought my fifth car of the day. I'm right on the money is where I want to be. I want to get two or three truckloads, so I'm perfect right now. <laughs>